Hello, Senior Stoner fans. It's the real Senior Stoner back at you for your Puffco Peak Pro Charged Diamond Dab of the Day. Hello, everybody. We're going to do a little apple and banana diamond today. Sativa version. Let's get started with today's interesting topic. As always, when you enjoy it, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, send a like, and I reply to every comment. When I was a kid, I was criticized by my own father, by my family sometimes, for not being creative. I wasn't. Kind of took square and left and right angle. That's all I had in my brain. I wasn't a circular thinker. I didn't have flexibility. So I wasn't creative. I'm admitting it. Hopefully I became creative as I aged. But you know what? Don't wait. Boost your creativity now. How? Well, that's what we're here to talk about. How do we boost our creativity? You got to face it that some people are gifted with creativity. Many of us feel like we're not one of those lucky few. Does it mean that we're doomed to boredom and mundane things? Creativity is like a muscle. You exercise that muscle like a tennis player, you become, with muscle memory, able to hit that ball the same place every time. So with a little practice and hard work, we're going to become creative. And I'm going to help all of you do the same. We still have to remember that it's not a passive process, creativity. Can't just sit back and wait for the inspiration to come. Because you're going to lose motivation and become discouraged. Instead, we got to look at focusing on new ways, things we might not have done, that will inspire us, help us focus our attention and mental energy on being creative. We'll find some unusual tricks that might also help spark our creativity. How about the simple one? Go for a walk. I walk sugar twice a day. And you know what? I'm always thinking about things when I'm walking, and I'm not thinking about that much when I'm sitting. Even research has shown that some regular physical activity can play a very important role in our cognitive abilities. Hello, creative thinking. Inspiration. We also have to reward ourselves. Rewarding things can backfire sometimes. It's called over-justification effect. But some type of reward for you to give you for creative thinking might help you. So rewards explicitly for doing creative things, creative work, for example, inspires creativity, increases creativity. Promise yourself whatever desirable treat you want as a reward for coming up with a creative solution to the next situation you face. Think about it. Don't overdo it. Maybe you also need to do what's called creating a bit of psychological distance. That's right. People often think taking a break from the task they're with immediately focused on because they've hit a creative block is important. So that psychological distance between you and a problem might be the answer. If you imagine that a problem happened from a far location versus a close one, you solve it more creatively. So maybe the next time we face a difficult problem, we should imagine that it's far and disconnected from our current location. Surround yourself with inspiration. Positive thinking, positive surroundings, stimulates creativity. So surrounding ourselves with things that are inspiring and motivating, whether it's our office space, our home space, this will trigger inventiveness. We actually want to create restrictions. When you're trying to solve a problem, people often rely on obvious, building on existing ideas to come up with the easiest, simplest solution, like crows. Leads you to a good outcome, but it can also lead to fixedness, where you're really stuck. And it's challenging to think of a creative solution. So to overcome this restriction or resistance, the next time we try to solve a problem, 
Maybe we limit the things that we can use to come up with a solution. We might find ourselves coming up with new and innovative ideas that we never thought of because we're not using the ones that are right here on our shelf. In today's high-tech connected world, distractions, very easy, it's a click. You know what though? Instead of filling every idle moment with our games, our apps, our emails, our websites, maybe being bored, maybe daydreaming can help our creativity. Boredom, boredom allows people to have that daydream, which leads to creativity. So boredom actually encourages creative thinking because it sends a signal to you that your current environment ain't doing it. So you're automatically kind of triggered to look for new ideas, new solutions or inspiration to overcome that situation. And it allows us to reconceptualize any problem. That's right. Reconceptualize it. You've been at a mental wall. Take a step back. Revisit the problem from the very beginning. Maybe there's a different way to think about it. Maybe look at it just from a different angle and get emotional. That's right. Get emotional. Positive emotions are strongly linked to creativity. Strong, positive, and negative emotional states are linked to critical thinking and creative thinking doesn't mean we should rush out and put ourselves in a bad mood to gain inspiration but it allows us to understand that negative emotions being unpleasant as they are we might be able to turn that lemon into lemonade by working on something productive when we're in a bad mood and surround yourself with the color blue my favorite color that's right the color blue helps you it does the color blue helps people become more creative. Why? Because blue helps you think out of the blocks. Blue is associated with nature, with peace, with tranquility. It allows people to feel safe, to explore. So the next time we're looking to find inspiration, use the color blue. It might trigger some new ideas. And we can always go back to our meditation, to our grounded mindfulness, because those types of things also help open our brains up on particular objects or ideas and it creates what's called divergent thinking and it gives you a whole generation of new ideas remember remember look for ways to incorporate the things we've just talked about into your daily life that's the key simply focusing on your thoughts and experiences is going to help give you more creative thinking remember these are just tricks that we can use to help boost our creative thinking. I'm sure that many of us, if not all of us, have some intrinsic creativity that we just haven't exploited yet. Well, guess what? Now is the time to start doing those things. Well, we're gonna light the day up here with our Puffco Peak Pro 2 with some Sativa Diamonds. Are you ready, everybody, to take the dab train? Well, I am, here we go. And I want to thank everybody for being here. As you know, I value everyone. It's extremely important to me that I help people. And I truly believe that by doing these videos, it's my way of giving something to the world. Thanks for being here, everybody. Thanks for being a part of the family. If you're not, please hit the button and subscribe. Send a like if you feel like you liked it. And I respond to all the comments and questions. If you want to get this at a good price even, email me and I'll tell you where to go. Thanks again. And have a wonderful day. Cheers. And stay tuned. Hitaki is in the house. Keep your eyes peeled. Excuse me. Thanks for joining the Real Senior Stoner, everybody. Have a wonderful day.